Kathy Lemon is the originator of Chinese tea foam, but that's not all it's known for. They're also serving up refreshing smoothies and tasty bubble waffles. Here in our Studio 41 kitchen to break down the Oreo bubble waffle is store manager Ashley Ellis. Thank you for being here. Hi. We are fascinated. I had a million questions for her during the break. Uh -huh. For some people that don't know what bubble tea is, can you explain it to, for them? So uh, the bubbles themselves, they're little tapioca dough balls, um, and we boil them. They're just like a little chewy addition to your drink. They kind of um, add a little bit more to the drink. They're kind of a little filling. So yeah, it's kind I would of imagine. a meal. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, it does become a meal. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, so then you take, so you take that concept and that is what you've turned these into with the waffles. Yeah, kind of. Um, we've got the, the bubble shape, kind of like the tapioca pearls themselves. Uh -huh. um, and it kind of lends itself to, you know, single serving pretty well. You can just break off the waffles uh, or the bubbles, um, dip them, and it makes it super easy finger food. Uh -huh. Okay, All okay. Right. So there's not any of the tapioca in the batter than for the waffle. There is tapioca starch in the batter, but it's no, no. boba involved. Yeah. Okay, no so boba. we're making the Oreo um, waf bubble waffles today? Yes, we are. Okay, so how do we get started with that? So um, I've got some of our batter poured out right here. I'm gonna add a scoop of Oreo crumbs, um, and we're gonna go ahead and mix no. that up and just throw it into our waffle iron. Kind of feel like this is kind of like what they call the uh, blizzard or the yeah. ice cream kind yeah. of thing situation yeah. like that. Can you put different kinds of um, additives into the waffle mix or something? Yeah, so we also have a cheese bubble waffle. Okay. Um, and that is definitely a for specific people kind of waffle. But, yeah, look at this and look at how that's kind of fun. I never would have thought to tilt it. I would have went across each I would have done yeah. the same thing. Yeah, this is just a little bit more um, efficient for in-store use, but um, definitely not like a home waffle maker at all. Oh, oh look, look, at that. look at that. I don't make home waffles, I get them out of the freezer, so. Yeah. You know how they're made? <laughs> that's fun, though. <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely fun. So this is one of the many things that you guys have at the Happy Lemon. You also have, we talked about some refreshing teas and, yeah. and smoothies. These. Tell us about your menu. Um, so our menu, we've got a lot of the basics like most boba shops, so a lot of milk tea options. Um, really where we come in is with our, our jasmine tea. It's super floral, very fragrant. It's really nice and refreshing. And then we have all kinds of fruit flavors you can add to it. So we've got passion fruit, dragon fruit, mango, grapefruit. Um, all types of really nice fresh flavors that you can add. Well, this bubble waffle is fascinating. And we were talking in the break too, you have dips for it or toppings for it as well? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, so we've got our puff cream here. This goes in some of our drinks. Um, it pairs really well with milk tea, um, but it also is a nice dip for the waffle. Mm -hmm. And it's basically just like a whipped cream, but it has um, kind of like a creme brulee flavor okay. in it. Um, if you'd want to try a little yeah, bit. Yeah, should we mm -hmm. try it with the waffle? Sure. Okay. There you go, because it takes you. about five minutes for yeah, that. Yes, so we won't get the whole one cooked yet. Okay, so we can still this one here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you break this side, I'll break this side? Yep, that sounds like a good plan. Okay. Well, this is so fun. this is fun. Yeah. So you can actually share this with someone. Yeah. A lot of people do that. Okay. Hey, I was going to dip, but I don't want to be accused yeah. of double dipping. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, yeah, good. Yum, yum. Mm, 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 yeah, wow, and this is, yeah, kind of like, kind of salty. Yeah. And what's the other one you had? I know you had another one too. Mm. We've got our salted cheese. This is our very famous cheese foam. Um, this is definitely not for everyone, but like I said, it's a favorite of mine. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wait, you tried that one. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> mm, that is really good. That is good. That's a puffy one. Well, well there's not going to be the only one trying yeah, you can it. dip it. What are some of the other uh, waffle types that you make? So we have a chocolate one, um, our original. Mm, that's good. Is it? Okay. You should try it. I okay. really like it. Okay. Yeah, it's good. You said not for everybody. You scared like me. It. Who could not like that? Mm. I don't know. Some people just don't like it on their on their mm, drink. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is good. Mm -hmm. I prefer this one, but that one's good. Oh, Damn old. Thank you so much. No this was wonderful. Mm -hmm. oh, we loved it. You've got some fans in us with the bubble yeah. waffles. We'll keep eating them. We're sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm stop. Keep eating. All right, Ashley, thank you for coming in this morning. Happy Lemon is over in Lincoln Park. There's also a location up in Evanston. There's all the information on how mm. you can find them on social media as well as their website. Dang, this is really good. Yum, yum. Good addicted really quickly. Tum, tum. Mm -hmm. <laughs>